Hi, and welcome to Mindful, Beautiful, and Thriving, a podcast series by Tharaka Foundation focused on youth mental health. Before we begin today's episode, I just wanted to let you all know that all content that is found in our podcast is created for informational purposes only. This content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, treatment, or therapy. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition, and never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you have heard in this podcast. Thank you so much, and without further ado, let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome to Mindful, Beautiful, and Thriving. This podcast is about ADHD. Today we are here with Leah Anderson, a senior at Harker High School. What exactly is ADHD and how does it affect people who have it? ADHD is also known as attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. It affects the ability to concentrate, to sit still. It generally affects children have like impulsive behaviors or are overly active. It causes those people to have an inability to sit still for a long period of time or focus on a task for more than probably a few minutes because their mind kind of just switches between things. So ADHD is a disorder that makes people, you know, hyperactive, makes their focus a lot smaller. And so how would that make studying in school challenging? With school, obviously you have to sit through a class for about 45 minutes. My classes are personally an hour and 20 minutes, which are even longer period of time to sit still and focus on like a teacher for that period of time. And so it definitely affects the ability to sit down and take a test or sit down and study for quiz or a test for a longer period of time, or even during class to not be distracting because you have to move around. So basically ADHD affects school and studying because it basically poses a challenge in that the students can't sit for long periods of time without kind of fidgeting or moving. So they can't sit and study for a test as a person without ADHD would be able to. Is there a way to teach people to cope with their ADHD so that it has little to no effect on them? So for me, I've learned mental disorders and stuff like ADHD and depression. The most important thing is definitely coping skills. It's learning how you can learn well. So some people with ADHD can sit for 15 to 20 minutes versus some people with ADHD can only sit for five minutes. So the biggest thing for me is making sure that I have enough breaks so that I can get up and walk around and move and learn how to focus yourself in a way that you can learn. Yeah, that's that's pretty interesting. And a lot of the podcasts we've done before, especially on study skills, you know, management and stuff like that. What you said about ADHD, you have to set time for yourself to, you know, relax. So you, it helps you boost your focus and you really need to make time for yourself. And that really goes hand in hand with self-compassion. What help and treatment have you received for ADHD? And has it helped? So I take medications for ADHD, which definitely help. But unless the effort is put in for me to realize that I do have this this hindrance to learn or focus. The most important thing for me is remembering that I have that and continuing to use my skills because the medication can only do so much. So it definitely has helped. I think another thing that has helped me is I have a learning specialist that I work with both at school and outside of school that teach me how to work with the things I have issues with, like especially writing essays or taking a test, how to focus during those things and learning those coping skills. So there are many forms of treatment of ADHD. Like you said, you can do pills or with the help of a social advisor, but none of them work unless you apply those same efforts yourself. So what advice would you give to the teens who have ADHD? The most important thing for me is getting tested, like knowing that you have this diagnosis, because if you have this diagnosis, you can go to your school and talk to them about accommodations, which have been so helpful for me. So I think number one is definitely getting tested. So you have evidence that, yes, I do have ADHD. And then the most important thing, like I said before, taking breaks, learning about yourself the most. Like it's not about 
what how well your classmates learn or how your teacher teaches. It's learning how you can best take in information and sit for longer periods of time so you can get that information out on paper, whether it's a test or an essay or a project. So I think it's definitely the learning the coping skills and then making sure you get tested. And then if you need to, you can talk to a psychiatrist to get prescribed medication to have that extra kind of boost to help you. Yeah, having proof of something is always good, especially when it comes to school, because they can help you with this kind of stuff. And um, like what you said, it's not something that you can just, you know, just take medication for and you have to fix it. It's something that you have to yourself, you have to try really hard and you you have to make an effort if you want to succeed in learning. But it's not impossible. It's just a lot harder. That's pretty interesting. Today, we interviewed Leah Anderson, a senior at Harker High School. We learned a lot about ADHD and how it can affect study habits and skills. We also learned how you can cope with your ADHD to form good study skills and be mindful. Again, special thanks to Leah Anderson for helping us with this podcast. This is the Tarika Foundation, and you are listening to Mindful, Beautiful, and Thriving. Be sure to stay safe and stay home. You are listening to Mindful, Beautiful, and Thriving, a podcast series by Tharika Foundation. As part of our youth series, we will be releasing new episodes every weekend, so make sure to continue to check those out. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and thank you so much for listening.